Okay, we're going to solve this equation for x, and we have the principal square root of 4 minus x equals x plus 2. Now the principal square root is the square root that's not negative. Okay, so we'll come back to that in a minute. But um, just as a side note right now, because you have a principal square root, we're going to have to check both of our answers. All right? Okay, now we want to get rid of that radical, so if we square the left side and we square the right side, then the radical sign will go away, and I'll be left with the 4 minus x. Okay? This equals, okay, now if we're going to square this down here, we're going to write this thing twice. So we're going to write x plus 2 and x plus 2 because of the square sign. Then as you FOIL these things, you're going to, the first terms are x and x. When you multiply them, you're going to get x squared. And then we're going to add in, our outside terms give us 2x. See the 2 and the x. The inside terms give me another 2x for a total of 4x. And then the last terms, 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, so when we square this, we get this. Now, we want to get 0 over here to this left side. We want to have 0 over here. So I'm going to get rid of the negative x with a what? Okay, with a plus x. And that's 4 plus a 1x. 4x plus 1x. But also I want to get rid of this 4. So I'm going to subtract 4 from here and from here. To get rid of this 4, we're going to subtract 4 from here and here. Now that gives me a 0 on the left side. That's, what, that's the reason I did this up here is to, is to cancel out these left members over here and just have a zero. So that's your x squared and then 4x plus 1x is what? 5x. Okay. Now zero is going to equal and we have an x in common so if we factor the x out I'll have x plus 5. Notice x times x is x squared and x times 5 is 5x. Okay. Now what we have here we have we have x times this, x times x plus 5 is 0. So either x is 0 or the x plus 5 equals 0. Okay, that's a 0 factor property. When you have two numbers that you multiply together, let's say a times b to get 0. If a times b is 0, then either a is 0 or b is 0. Okay? So if we multiply x times x plus 5, then either x is 0 or x plus 5 is 0. Okay? Now x plus 0 is finished. On this one here, I'm going to have to subtract 5 in order to finish it. So subtract 5, you're going to get x is negative 5. Now because it's a principal root, we're going to have to check our answers. So we're copying, I'm going to draw a line down the page here, and we're going to copy the original equation here. But in place of x, I'm going to plug in a number for x. So we're going to check the 0 out first. So when you say the principal root of 4 minus x, you're saying 4 minus what? Well, x is what? So you're going to put a 0 here and here. Okay? In place of these x's up here, you're going to put a 0. All right? Now, 4 minus 0 is 4, and 0 plus 2 is 2. And the principal the non-negative square root of 4 is 2. So 0 checked, okay? 0 checked out. 0 is one of my answers, all right? Now copy the original equation again, all right? Here's my original equation, and in place of x, we're going to plug in something here, okay? This is 4 minus x. You see your 4 minus x? Now in place of x here, in place of the x, we're going to plug what? We're checking this answer right now. So in place of x here, we're going to put a 5. In place of this x over here, when you say x plus 2, we're going to put a 5 in both of these. Really a minus 5, okay? Now, 4 minus a minus 5 is 4 plus 5, isn't it? Okay? And that equals your negative 5 plus your 2. This is the square root of 9, or the principal root of 9. And what did we say the principal root was? A non-negative? The problem is when you say negative 5 plus 2, you're coming up with a negative. So the non-negative root of 9 is 3, but that doesn't equal negative 3, does it? The problem is this is a principal root. It is a non-negative square root of 9, so we can't have a negative here. 
So we're saying a 3 equals a minus 3. That's not true. So what happened? Minus 5 did not check out, did it? We have to say, that's false. Because this is false, we're going to draw an X to this. This does not work. It's called an extraneous solution. It just doesn't work, okay? Because this is a principal or a non-negative root, the only answer we have is zero. Zero is the only answer we have for this problem.